this video tutorial, I'm going to be using the brand new John Next Door Delicate Tags die set to make this card here. I love this set because you've got an inside and an outside which fit together to give you a beautiful, very delicate frame with this lovely little flower pattern that matches with the summer lantern. You've also got a panel die that fits in the middle so you can put a third colour in and you've also got a little traceries that will go around and fit in there of the same pattern so it's a beautiful little delicate set but this time we're going to be using it to make this inset card here so to start with this we'll move the dies out of the way slightly and we'll move the card out and what i've done is i've cut some card already and this is crafts two white linen card we've got white and two greens this is three by five and then three and an eighth by five and an eighth, three and a quarter by five and a quarter. So as we go down in colour, we get the outside lines as well. So I'm going to start, first of all, with the outside die. I'm going to pop that into the centre of the piece of white. And I'm just going to tape that down. And we'll run that through our machine. And this will fit through any of the five inch die cutting machines, any of these sort of A5 ones. But will also fit through some of the smaller ones like the Spellbinders Prism because it's quite a small die. So I'm going to run that through and here we go. You're going to keep this piece because I'm going to show you a bonus with this piece that we can achieve. So we'll just peel that off gently. We're going to pop that to one side. Then I'm going to take the next colour down, which is this pale moss green. And I'm going to pop that on just like that. And I'm going to take then the detail die from this. So we're going to take the detail die and we're going to pop that in, getting an even border all the way around. Yeah, so all the way around so it can go that way or it can go that way. It's entirely up to you. Let's do it this way this time. And we're just going to pop that in and we're going to leave it taped to the white and the green. And that makes sure it stays in the right place. So we're going to pop that in our machine. We're going to pop our lid on. And we're going to run that through. So again, I'm just running that through my Kaleido. And you can see here when I pop this piece out. I'm just careful with the tape. It is quite delicate. There we go. We get that beautiful pattern showing on the inside. It sort of continues that pattern all the way around. Now, I'm going to bring in a piece I've already got because what I've done is I've spray glued this and I've already done it this time in the darker shade. You can see we've got that beautiful pattern around there. And all I'm going to do is I've added a little bit of foam tape onto here. So we're just going to take off our foam tape and we'll pop that onto the lighter green. So you can see we got that beautiful white to green to light green. It kind of it's cut in and cut out around. I just love the way that this looks. I've got a little bit of a card blank here. So we'll pop that onto there. And then using flowers from the box kit, I've got these beautiful flowers, which are the clematis from the box kit die set from the John Next Door box kit number six. So we'll just add a few of these little flowers on. And you've got these beautiful little tiny ones which fit perfectly on the little bases in there. So we'll add these on just like that and I think we'll just add just one more a little bit of glue onto there looks like I'm going to need a little bit more glue glaze and we've got that beautifully framed card so here's the one we made earlier and then here's the one we've just made very quick and simple but really effective card and you could put someone's name in there a sentiment or anything could look really really lovely so I'm going to take those away to one side 
and I said we'd do something with this white piece. And what I wanted to show you with this is how we can use both dies almost together to create ourselves a beautiful little frame, which again will make a, a really nice sentiment tag to go on any card. So you can see here, I'm going to put the die in the same place. When you put them together, you'll see how the design continues, how it's meant to continue on. So using the same piece, I'm going to pop that into here, getting a nice even border all the way around. Make sure you tape it in two places. And we're simply going to run that through our machine. Again, I'm using the Kaleido, but really any die cutting machine will do, because this will go even through the smallest ones. And then when we pop this off, you'll see as this peels out, we get this beautiful, delicate tag and sort of floral pattern that continues across. So it gives you a stunning frame. And we can then take the piece that's left. So this is the piece that we've got the extra die. I'm going to cut this from the center of this piece of card so that I can use it for something else. And we'll just run that through and cut it. Such a quick and simple card to put together and make this. It really is effective. So I'm just going to use a little bit of spray glue on the back of this just to make sure I get it in the right place. So a little bit of spray glue. Turn it onto the reverse and you'll see that tag will fit in exactly. So we then have the most beautiful little tag. And again, that could go just across the front of a card. So we could put that just across the front like that. And again, perhaps add a couple of little flowers and a sentiment. And we've got something absolutely beautiful. So many different options you can do. And that's before we've even used the little extra ones. Again, these could be cut in the greens and look lovely as a pattern on the background. Enjoy.